Now that you've heard about OnStation's features, let's hear how Molly Rice, one of HNTB's construction team leaders, has been using OnStation since 2021. With that, I'm going to hand it over to Molly, who uh, has a lot more project experience than I do, and she'll be able to tell you about how her team has been using this um, out there on some of their projects. So take it away, Molly. So I have a few different features I want to talk about and how we're uh, utilizing them in the field. The project dashboard, first and foremost, when you open up the app, that's the first thing you see. It's your home base. It's where you have your project lists. It's where you can connect to your map online or offline. You can look at different options um, from your organization. So if I go into my org and can see my projects in Indiana, I can also see projects in Michigan and Wisconsin where they're also using the app. I can look at projects nearby from other contractors, clients, consultants, uh, and I can select the project that I'm looking for to get into the application and start uh, using the next thing I'm going to talk about, which is the location tool. This is the bread and butter. This is what we use most often. It's our construction engineering. Dave earlier brought up uh, the fact of like searching for laths and busting out the wheel. Uh, that was a promise, not a threat, Dave. So I'll, next time you're on 69, I'll make sure to make that happen. But we can all probably relate to the situation of being in the field and trying to find a lath with a station on it, looking for markings on a wall and walking a huge distance to try to find that and then wheel back to get a reference point or searching your plans. Well, with OnStation, you don't have to do that. You open up the app, you get into the project you need, you push, push your little accuracy button and it GPSs you right to that location. You know your station, your offset, everything. It's replacing those KMZ files, that Google Earth with precise positioning. John, John has a question. Yeah, just real, real quick, sorry. We were looking at, uh, uh, you know, the Google Earth and KMZ is an option for this and, and dropping that on her. What's the big difference you see between that approach and, and we get a lot of KMZ. This is what we used at the very beginning of I-69 was KMZ files. Uh, we get those KMZ files uh, from the designer. You have to download all of them. You have to put them in Google Earth. You have to make sure you save them. Then you have to make sure they get aligned right properly. And then it's a step you have to do every single time on your own to update within Google Earth. At least we've had to here. Uh, on the I-69 project and previous corridors we've worked on. With OnStation, you put in your project, everything's there for you. If there happens to be an update to the file, as there is on this design build job, you just send that information to OnStation, they do it all for you, and it's there at a drop of a hat. You're not worrying about, did I save that file to my places? Do I have the latest and greatest file? Uh, you can see that visually overlaid on top of uh, a satellite image. It's also helpful, I'll show later, like with the design files, you don't get that from KMZ where you can actually see the CAD files on top of imagery that gives a little um, different aspect than looking at black and white plans. So con to continue where I was talking about the location tool, as you can see um, from the image on the right, we have our different alignments for this project. This is zoomed in on I-69 and County Line Road, which is one of our interchanges. And based on where I'm standing, the little crosshairs, you tells me I'm exactly on County Line Road, northbound exit ramp at station 110 plus 88, 59 feet right. It's like Dave said, two to five feet accurate. I've got full service when I'm out there uh, and it's location at your fingertips, which is very useful. Some examples of how we've been using this on I-69 is HMA paving. This has been a tremendous help for our paving operations. We have miles of road to pave, multiple paving crews, day and night shifts, and this has been extremely helpful in tracking locations of tickets, doing lay rates, uh, material sampling and testing, knowing where a plate location is going to, or a plate sample is going to be taken based on our random number, marking the area where the core is going to be, and you write down that station, then you're able to come straight back to it to actually mark the core out for it to get cut by the contractor. That's been extremely helpful in the field. HMA paving has been one of the biggest things we've used it on. We've also used it on maintenance for pothole tracking. Uh, NDOT wants their potholes to be tracking mile markers, which is super beneficial that OnStation can convert from st uh, station to mile markers. So we utilize the tool there as well. Moving on to issue resolution. Issue resolution has been big uh, as far as what OnStation can provide with the chat functionality. It's been a lot of communication and collaboration uh, within the tool. The nice thing about both I-69 and North Split is that on I-69, we have ourselves using it internally. We also have some sub consultants using it as well as one of our contractors. So we can all have that communication right in OnStation. We're not sending emails. We're not 
um, making phone calls, sending group texts. It's all in one spot. You can send photos, you can do tags, you can uh, route to the location. It's super beneficial. Um, on North Split, our client NDOT is actually using it along with us. And so they've had conversations using that. One of the examples that we've uh, utilized the chat functionality for is unforeseen pipes. We were doing some excavation and found hidden pipes in the ground. As you can see from the photo, uh, one of our inspectors sent some photos of the pipes that we found. We tagged some people and we were actually able to communicate this so effectively, we resolved it in one day, abandon the pipes and move on. Typically, that's a very lengthy process of going to people in the office versus people in the field, talking to the designer, but everybody was involved in this uh, chat functionality. So we mesh the office and field, which is a nice thing to do just to get things done and streamline the process. Dave also mentioned the routing aspect. So for example, if I need to go out there and look at those hidden pipes, um, and I couldn't be there at the time they were found, all I'd have to do is hit that route button that takes me directly to that location. I'm not trying to find an approximate location on plans. I'm not trying to just guess based on landmarks. I go straight there. Another big aspect we've used has been the design file overlay. So with OnStation, you get all your alignments, but you also get your file, your CAD files to overlay. So you can see those different layers of your base and your project maps. Your plan sets are also in there. You can put specifications, standard drawings, anything you want. This has been super, super useful for ITS and pipe work for us to see where things are going to determine if there's any conflicts in the field. Like I said earlier, it takes that black and white plan set and it kind of puts it in color overlaid on a satellite image with the GPS added on top of that and just brings a little bit more visual to the actual construction that needs to happen. Photos is another thing. Dave highlighted this. They are location stamps. They put the little image in the corner of where it's actually located. Um, it's good for field documentation. You can add your own notes. You can draw and edit on the photo and then store it with an on station. We've used this a lot to track progress and productivity, scheduling any conflicts or issues we may have. Finally, measurements has been a tool that we've started to use uh, more often. You can draw lines, do points, do areas. It'll give it to you in feet, yards, miles, acres. This is very helpful for material estimates, pay quantities, production calcs. As you can see from this image, we were able to draw out one of our bridge approaches and determine roughly what the square yard is gonna be. You can do that from a pay standpoint that helps track your frequency for testing. It gives you an estimation of the concrete that needs to be on site. And you can use that on all different aspects of the job to calculate different measurements throughout the field.